Once you have your finished car, a few notes on rendering. I'm going to go to the render environment. The trick to a cool rendering for the car is to put it so it looks like it's on the ground. That can be a little bit tricky. Uh, so a couple steps I take to get there. I'm going to go to my setup and environment library. You can use any of these environments or you can attach a custom environment. The crossroads and the plaza are probably the easiest to put the car on the ground if you, if you want to pick one for speed. See my previous email for places to get some of these environments. There's all sorts of places you can buy them or get them free online. EXR and HDR as a file type. So I'll pick this Alpine Road here. Click open. It takes a moment to load, so I wait. Alright, so it's loaded. I can see the reflections in the car changed uh, in the library here. It's showing. Go back to my settings, change the background to the environment. You can see the car is totally not on the ground anywhere. So a couple tricks. First I try to get the car you know, in some fashion of how I'd like to show it. And then I click on this move to move the environment around, put the car on the road. And then I can start to make some adjustments such as the focal length. Sometimes you really have to bring this down to like a 35 millimeter camera to get that to work. So I can bring that down, I can adjust the millimeters, you know, really exaggerate it, or pull it back. I try to make it look like it's actually driving on the road. So there it is, that looks pretty good. This has the sun behind the car, so it can make a cool shot for the headlights. Uh, and so that's how you put it on the car. You kind of go around and use this move command, the focal length, and then rotate the car uh, to get it where you'd like to. Some of the HDR, the reflections can look really good. Some of them it doesn't look good, so it depends on uh, what you're going for. Once you've got it, of course, you know, using your aspect ratio, you know, square, great for Instagram, or 16 by 9, it's good for PowerPoint presentations. So close on that, and then hit your render button. Once you know it looks really good and you've got time, you can actually increase your resolution. You want to keep it proportionally, so you want to think about that. So 16 by 900 or 16 by 16, if you're doing a one-to-one. -one. Hit render, and then wait for that to go. If you're not sure if it looks good or not yet, uh, either send it with really low settings so that it doesn't take long, you're not waiting, or you can do the ink canvas render and start to get an idea of what it's going to look like, you're just letting that process uh, in canvas.